Hey guys, Nash here and in this video I will show you what you should do after installing a heavy custom ROM like Razer Action Remix or what I normally do after installing any custom ROM. So let's get started. So first of all customize your notification drawer. You should add all the required tiles and remove all unwanted tiles from notification drawer and make it look neat and tidy. So here in the quick setting, maximize your row and maximize your column so it will give you this neat look and also you should remove titles. So next I change my recent menu and replace your recent menu with this slim recents. With this recent menu, you can see all the apps running in the background, you can directly close them all and the best thing is you can see the full screen in the recent menu. Also you can maximize or minimize windows within recent menu. And then I go to blur customization and I blur my recent apps. My recent menu looks different than others and I can see blur in the background of recent menu and that gives nice depth look. So next I go to my lock screen customization and I add some shortcuts apps to my lock screen. I already added chrome so I'm going to add calculator now and as you can see now I have chrome and calculator I can launch them directly from my lock screen and even I can launch them when my screen is off from always on display. Now I will enable this torch shortcut from my power button. So whenever my screen is off and I long press my power button, my torch is on and again I long press that, my torch is off. It really helps when you quickly want to turn on your torch. And now I'm going to enable pulse mode on my navigation bar. So with this feature, whenever I am listening to music, it adds this cool equalizer on my navigation buttons. Show this feature to your iPhone user friends, just because they are your friends and they use iPhones. And in the navigation customization, you can also enable this fling mode. Fling mode replaces your three buttons and gives you this nice swipe bar. You can completely customize this bar and you can add multiple shortcuts in this swipe bar. You can find this feature in almost every custom room, normally it's located in navigation customization. And then go to animation settings and customize your toast animation as well as your system animation. And now we are going to customize screen of animation. There are actually three options. First one is none. The second one is this CRT mode. And the third one is scale mode. Personally, I prefer CRT mode. It gives that retro TV look here. Then we have this cool feature called app circle bar. It creates this circle in the side of your screen just like Samsung S9 but it's more dope looking and you can add many apps here. Definitely a very useful feature if you do heavy multitasking. And then in the gestures customization I add this gesture anywhere feature where I can draw a particular thing and it will open specific app. For example when I draw C it will open camera. You can completely customize these gestures. Again, this feature will save you lots of time.
So those kind of features I use in Razer Action Remix or any heavy custom rooms. And if you want to watch Razer Action Remix full review, I will drop video in i button as well as in the description box below. And also like this video if you appreciate my work. This is your friend Nas signing out and I will see you tomorrow.